Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Haven Bay, this let's build series which we all do enjoy very much, at least I do, I hope that all of you guys enjoy it as much as I do, and today as the thumbnail and uh, title of this video have spoiled, we're going to be working on a temple, uh, so cool stuff, I just want to show you something that I've been working on in between the episode, last episode, we did this small candle maker room in here i'm gonna be quick here because we don't have too much time but we did that and then i've just finished off the interior of the upstairs of this and it turned out pretty cool you walk up here and then we have a small like a living area with with a small kitchen and a dining area and then two bedrooms uh so there's a sp okay yeah so there's space oh is there gold in there oh, wow that's pretty cool uh so there is space or like sleeping areas for four people in here and then we have this nice balcony here. Let's see if we can actually just fly out here. Yes, to save some time. So today we're going to be working on this uh, a temple which will be on the top here. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the lore of this world that we are creating. Because I think lore is possibly some of the most important things to get a good world up and running. At least that's what I think. So uh, I want to chat to you a little bit about that as we go here and then we're gonna build a little bit, see if we can do both things. I'm not very good at multitasking, but uh, we're gonna try and see how it works. So uh, I just want to build a little bit here, try to come up with a design here kind of, because uh, yeah, I will, I will get into that as when I start talking about the lore. I, I have a document on my left screen right now where I have been typing some stuff for the lore of this area right here I haven't made the lore of this whole whole the world here but we have something happening here all right so in the desert this is a massive desert there are two kinds of people we have the sandmen which are the people who have lived in the desert for centuries for thousands of years and they're not very civilized they're not like under civilized but they don't build massive castles and builds and stuff uh, they kind of live in small sandstone huts around the cast or around the desert I mean and this is kind of live with what the desert have to give them and that's kind of what they're why they're called sand men they have two gods they have the god of the day and the god of the night very simple but i thought it was kind of cool and they they all like um worship those two gods because that's kind of all they have here in the desert there's not really trees not really animals uh day and night is kind of everything they have to kind of um yeah to build stuff up from so they the god of day and the god of night is the primary gods of the sandman uh which lives in the desert uh, but then we also have the Vesters, or the new settlers of the uh, the desert here, which are people that came from the west and invaded uh, the desert, which is kind of east of this map here. And they did not really invade, I wouldn't say they invaded it, but they came here and started living. Uh, the, the Sandmen weren't really, weren't really uh, a lot of people, there weren't really a big population of Sandmen. Uh, in the desert so there wasn't like a war or something they just kind of started living here and there's been a few conflicts and stuff but nothing very big all right so uh, these new Vester people they have their own religion which they brought from the west which we're gonna we're gonna get to some building in the west very soon as well uh, and the westerns they have a religion of five gods they have the god of uh, they have the sorcerer called Yora, which is the god of uh, wisdom and stuff like that. And then they have the hunter, which is called Mika, which is, is um, the god of good luck with fishing and hunting and stuff like that. And then they have the knight, which is called Roar, Ruar, whatever. Uh, I tried to come up with names, I'm not super good at that, but at least I tried, alright. Uh, Roar, uh, which is uh the god of battles and fighting and being great warriors and stuff and then we have the maiden which is opponent as you can guess that's the uh the god of or goddess of uh, fertility of families and uh good harvest for like farms and stuff so 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we have the last one, which is uh, the dead, which is he's called Orakis, and he is the god of death. Which is I, I don't want to make the god of death a bad person in this religion here. The god of death is, uh, of course, he, it's it's bad, uh, and it's the god of bad uh, actions and doing uh, harming people and stuff. But it's also the god that you would pray to to get a good time in the afterlife in this religion here. So he's not all bad, um, but he's kind of the, the source of all bad. But it's not all bad, if that makes sense. I, I kind of want to do it a little bit more, uh, a little different than all. I don't want anything to be super evil and stuff like that. I want to, to, to make it uh, kind of represent reality a little bit more, right? So that's the five gods and we have them represented down here which will be like the unique icons of them so we have the skull here we can guess that's orakis the dead then we have the flower which is for the maiden the shield is for the knight uh this globe is for the, um, the sorcerer and then this one is for the hunter i didn't really come up with something for the hunter so this is just supposed to be like some kind yeah maybe to, to carry your or loot or whatever uh, but uh, maybe you can come up with something guys but that's kind of what I have for now and then we're gonna kind of uh, all of the temples for this religion are going to be circular the main part of the temple is going to be circular uh, so we're gonna have a big circular room and then we're gonna have these five uh, tokens or whatever uh, kind of uh, spread around in here and then there's going to be some more buildings around that to be like the servants of this temple here I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna have some water here just a second So I think that will turn out pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that uh, I'm trying to come up with a cool design here uh, to make this circular, but still uh, Kind of cool. I don't know uh, So we're gonna see if we can create this very cool design and we got here as well so we're just gonna maybe go down a little bit here we've got these ones as well and then I want to kind of have it like the lighthouse tower I'm gonna show you that right now but also you haven't seen the castle in a while uh, where it gets thinner as we get to the top and then have something in the top maybe a bell or something like that so it's wide in the, on the bottom and then kind of gets thinner as we go up and I want to have something like that where it is uh, gently getting thinner, I think, would be uh, the best uh, way to describe that. So, it's gonna look something like this as the main, and I think, I don't know, if I, maybe she, I should keep it open. I think maybe that would be pretty cool to keep it open for a build like this. Uh, it's in the desert, it's pretty much warm all the time, so I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, and then, we're gonna have some pillars in the middle here as well I wonder where though uh, what if we do something like that okay that is not right there like that uh, to bring these up again just so we have some support for the next uh, layer of this to then bring those up and um, Kind of maybe merge them in together a little bit here to have some arches and stuff so yeah something like this and then we don't have as many columns in the middle as we have on the outside so i think the best way we can do it is now is if we were to, to make these arches going like this over and like this and like that just kind of merge them together with this arch here and then combine them like this and then it will kind of support uh, the next layer a little bit more so I'm kind of all over the place now but I, I just kind of have an idea in my head but it's not complete so I think I'll just have to kind of build myself uh, into a complete picture I guess because I'm not exactly sure how I want it to look I just have some ideas of what would be cool to have here uh, actually, let's bring these all the way down like that and then we could actually have maybe some of these right here 
I think they look super cool. And bringing the columns all the way down just makes sense and it kind of uh, brings everything together a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that for all of them. So this episode will be a little bit back and forth trying to just figure out everything. But um, I think I think you guys like that. I have an uh, impression that you guys like that I'm <clears throat> kind of showing you my thought process of everything. And then of course some of you like the time lapses. So uh, as I said, I'm gonna try to do a combination of them in this series here. Both some of the good old let's build and then also some uh, time lapses and stuff. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that uh, and for today's episode it's gonna be mainly just building here trying to to come up with a cool design together with you guys and I hope you guys will enjoy that um, yeah so let's fill in here and here and here as well and there and then just step back a little bit take a look I think that's pretty neat like if you're down here in the town walking around minding your own business looking up at the castle that looks pretty much like a temple it's not a castle it's a temple uh, pretty much like a temple to me like I've never really seen desert temples in real life but uh, this is something kind of what I would imagine it looking like all right so it's pretty cool uh, let's do something like this then and then we're gonna have a secondary circle in the middle here so uh, I think we're gonna what if we just bring it like that? I think, yeah, I think that's the best. We could also go out too like that and then bring it in. What's the best? Well, this one is the easiest to, uh, to decorate. So let's do that just because it will make it easier for us in the end uh, by having two because it's easier to decorate a two by two area than a one by one area. So and that's going to be like the base of the next layer here. And I wonder, yes, let's let's bring that up with some arches as well. Just because we can, I think. So uh, let's bring that up. And then we're going to have this one here and that one there. That kinda, that's kind of cool. Um, I think we're going to use these ones still though. Uh, just bring those up here as well I think yeah let's just do that it's kind of awkward here because there's like this double up um, but I don't think that will look too bad in the end anyway so let's just keep it like this and then do that all the way around here as well and then here Yeah, you get the drill. You kind of do that all over the place here. But yeah, guys, uh, as I said about the lore here, there's some of the Vester people, and uh, I, I think I'm gonna go for some kind of uh, not the desert style for the next. Let's build the next part of this. Um, I think we're gonna do for something uh, maybe Nordic. I think that would be pretty cool. I've been posting some Nordic pictures on my Twitter account lately so that you could uh, or just for like showing you up what I've been working on and I think uh, Nordic would be pretty cool to build and that's not gonna be using the Western uh, religion the Vester the God five gods of the West or whatever I'm gonna call them they're not gonna have that same religion so we're gonna have to come up with another one but we, we're gonna build something eventually that will use this religion here uh, in the west as well and also something that I don't think I mentioned I, I don't think I did that actually but in this desert area these people kind of uh, left the west and got out here to uh, start over again well you know with new possibilities and stuff and a lot of their fate kind of got lost they still have the religion but they're not as Faithful. They're not as strong strong believers as they were uh, Before they left so I think that they've been here for about 200 years or something is what I typed in my In the lore document that they've been here for uh, Around 200 years so they kind of got settled down start building up towns like Haven Bay is built by these people 
uh, and you couldn't do that in just a few years so it's been like I think 200 years would make sense uh, and then and then they um, kind of lost a little bit of faith during that time if that makes sense uh, let's use that one yeah uh, so uh, they're, they're not really really uh, faithful to the religion anymore so the temple is not very much used, but they still have it here because that's still their kind of religion. This is where you would get married. This is where you would, uh, I don't know, get buried as well, I guess. I don't know. But it, it is kind of the religious place, even though the people of the desert here, of the Western people in the desert here, are not really that religious anymore. Uh, they still have... The temples of their old gods, or the the, the gods they still have, uh, but they're not really that uh, that uh, I don't know strict when it comes to religion. I I don't know what to say actually, but um, I think that would be kind of cool that they kind of lost faith a little bit, and that we might create some kind of conflict between the desert people and the newer people, or the, the old people. I mean, living in the West which still carries this faith and takes it very seriously. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool so that we can create some kind of uh, situation happening between them. Uh, should we use some dark sandstone up here? I think that would be cool again, just to get some contrast in here. And I really like this red. It turns out pretty awesome uh, up here. So we're gonna do something like that and then we can we can put this up. No, we cannot. Uh, we can use this one. I think that kind of breaks the arch a little bit. We can make it taller. But we can also uh, get a slab in, or we can take this one. Maybe. Oh, that looks very bad. Very bad indeed. Uh, we can just get this one then and get a slab, normal slab. Put that on top like that. Um, just kind of want to seal it off a little bit here. I don't want this to be standing uh, alone, the, the dark sandstone. I'm gonna have some more water here before I my throat gets too dry. But yeah, it's kind of cool uh, when you have this just border on top and I think I want to go down or back a little bit here. Just take a look and yes, to me, that looks pretty cool. Uh, of course, I'm open for suggestions and feedback if you guys completely disagree uh, so just let me know guys what you think of what I built here and stuff like that and also the lore feel free to fill in uh, leave some comments and stuff letting me know uh, maybe stuff I could improve on the lore or maybe like and just fill it in if there's some cool stores we could have I, I kind of I've been watching some Vikings lately um, I started watching that again I've been watching that way back but I kind of lost interest in it uh, and then I got back to it and it's actually super cool and what I really like about like northern uh, traditions and stuff is that they have this super cool uh, stories of all of the gods like uh, how they were born and who their father is and I think that's kind of cool so I think we could, if we could have some kind of lore more of a lore about the religion as well i think that would be kind of cool so uh feel free guys to fill in with some cool suggestions if you have any uh i'd really do appreciate it let's uh fill in here i think we're going to be a little bit decorative in here but um just something like that and also a stair right there and then that will support uh a column in the middle which will stretch up and then connect up to these I think like this yeah I think we're gonna do something like that and then here as well and here as well uh, bring it all up like that and then that's gonna be this last layer of this temple here on top of this so this is all for supporting the next layer which will be uh what about yeah i think we're gonna have something like that so it's uh a tree then a one then a tree and then a one if that makes sense 
Uh, for Minecraft builders, you know what I mean, but for if you're not really into the building community, you don't really know. But what I mean is that there's three blocks here, and then there's one block alone, and then there's three block again. So there's three, one, three, one, and then like a three, one circle. Uh, which is a very basic design, but it kind of gets the job done. So, uh, yeah, uh, very cool. Um, I wonder if we should have some of these in here as well. I don't want to make it too massive, but if I... Uh, let's add another layer of this here. We could, of course, just carve it out or add some details if we want to later. Uh, we're going to do something like this, and then... Uh, we're gonna have this one happening right here like that so you're gonna go something like that but I want to have something like we did down here these ones that look pretty cool um, kind of want to do something similar to that so we can do something like this I think I'm just gonna kind of copy that design do that all the way around I think that will turn out pretty cool if we just do it like that and then fill this in like that uh, and then yeah let's just do it like that I think that would work out pretty cool um, so we're just gonna fill in this border here and then we're gonna fill in the terracotta block whatever it's called and uh, the, the red blocks kind of and then I think we're going to get to start on the last layer. I'm not going to be able to finish everything in today's episode uh, because the episode is kind of getting already a little bit long. But uh, hopefully we can get done with all the exterior and then maybe next episode we're going to work on furnishing this temple here. That would be pretty cool if we can get that done. Because, uh, um, yeah, just getting some small bits like this done around here is just kind of what brings the town alive. But that looks super dope, I think. I'm just gonna fly back a little bit and take a look. Yeah, I really like that. I think that looks super cool. And it really, really captures the feeling that I was imagining. And then we're gonna have a last one here. And then I'm gonna have just these columns here on the sides like that. Um, I think we're gonna have another one of these here. Ideas where we have uh, the dark sandstone in the bottom and then kind of have a border on top of it something like this and here as well and then on top here I don't know what I will have I think just a bell of some sort so you can call in for uh, for stuff if you need to uh, so we're just gonna have small like a bell tower, I guess And then also for coming up to this area here. Uh, I don't want to have some kind of entrance to this area from the main temple uh, Or the circular room. I want to be building this small build on the side here So we're gonna cover up some of this uh, But this build will be the only way to get to this area here, I think and uh, uh, That's where kind of the servants will be living and I'm gonna have some small a small beds and maybe a small kitchen and stuff which is kind of just where uh, the people making sure everything is nice and tied up in here would be staying inside of that servant's house whatever it's called and then uh, yeah filling in here like that should we have oh that looks super weird when it's sticking out like that I was hoping it wasn't going to look that weird, but apparently it is, and it looks very unrealistic. Um, what if we do something like that and so does that look better? Of course, we're going to bring it all the way down like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it looks a little bit better. Let's fill it all the way in here. Okay, let's fly back and just kind of take a minute to just look at it. 
yeah that works if we put on the vertical slabs it works uh, so I'm just gonna do that all the way around I was just wor wondering or worried that these parts would be sticking out way too much but if we uh, put these vertical slabs it kind of mixes it in and it just makes it look cool and better I think so let's do something like that and then I kind of want to have this spike on top of this here and not like a dome but I think a dome would be more desert styly maybe we could have a dome with a spire on that could that could work actually uh, let's see how that would look if we were to um, just get one of these and then put you on top like that so it's gonna be something like this you on top of there like that and there we can see how it will look if we make it a dome and not a spike and then we can maybe have like uh, I've seen some domes that are domed but then they have a spike um, on the top if that makes sense so let's see if we can create something like that um, so it's not going to be a massive dome, but it's going to be something a little bit steeper than the very gentle uh, roofs down below. So it's going to be something like this. There, and then... Like that, and here. Yeah, that looks good. And um, then maybe half slab. half slab like that and then so how does that look for a dome that works it's it it's nice and round and I think like what I meant by a spire is that if we do something like this on the top we can kind of create something that's pretty cool and unique uh, so we can have this this one on top like that so now we just have a small top spire on top it's kind of cute uh, and if we go back it looks pretty cool I, I like that especially when you get it from a side like this it's perfect it's super cool all right guys uh, I think that is all I got time for today it's been a long episode and but I hope you guys don't mind that next episode we're gonna work uh, a little bit more on this I might do some more planning of camera trying to tie it all up but uh, I'm glad you guys just clicked on here I hope you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already Make sure to subscribe. It's been Vega Man, and I'm out.